The Big Red concept truck was designed and engineered by Ford Motor Company's Scientific Research Laboratory and Styling Team during the early 1960s. The 96-foot truck project was put together by Roy Lunn. The truck was launched on August 28, 1964, around the same time that the Ford Mustang was also being introduced to the public. The concept truck model offered a 600 HP gas turbine engine and could haul two trailers when traveling. It was introduced at the World's Fair in New York City, and visitors enjoyed its great styling and appreciated its engineering. The interior of the truck was made of steel and could accommodate two passengers. Its design was based on wind tunnel data and offered an air ride suspension. A full kitchen with hot and cold running water was included, along with a bathroom and television. The cab design was made of fiberglass, a lightweight material. The fiberglass design was independently mounted and featured on the framework body, along with an air conditioning unit for the driver and passengers. The driver or passengers would enter the truck by activating a special switch that would open the door and lower a retractable ladder. The Big Red concept traveled the country during the early 1960s on a promotional tour for Ford. Big Red was also featured in advertising with the new Mustang. In 1964, the Ford's highest-ranking executives wanted to manufacture the Big Red concept truck. However, there were three problems. The new U.S. environmental regulations, huge production costs, and different requirements for gas turbines in different states. According to many automotive historians, Big Red was called a super hauler, an experimental 600 GP gas turbine truck. Designed for the superhighways of tomorrow, experimental truck represented a massive investment and was a research project that Ford engineers thoroughly enjoyed. Ford Executive Vice President Charles H. Patterson said, This truck is a concept vehicle from our product research office. It is a test bed in which advanced engineering ideas are proved out in actual over-the-road operation. When researching the history of Big Red, I was able to find out some interesting information about what happened to the truck. After touring the country for many years and being featured in Life magazine during the 1960s, the concept model was returned to Ford's engineering staff center until the early 1970s. After being in storage at Ford for several years, the truck was later moved to the Holman Moody storage hangar, where it remained until 1978. Ford kept the original turbine engine. Many years later, Holman Moody promoted a huge inventory sale, which included Big Red. The truck was sold to an anonymous buyer, and its current location remains unknown. If you liked this video, don't forget to like it, write a comment, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to be informed of new videos.